All right, so <laughs> got some holes right here. Got to weld another plate over this. And then we're going to, we're going to replace this um, with the new harness. This thing's pretty chewed up. So, yeah, it's got some broken wires and stuff. Here's the new harness. And we're done. And then the piece of steel we're gonna use. All right, let's put this harness on. was on the old harness. The old harness had this thing right here that hooked into it. When they sent the new harness, they deleted it. So the newer model, they deleted this whole thing. This is an electromagnet and basically it gives it 12 volts. There's a little magnet in here that, that opens a valve. Supposedly it was to keep the door from opening while they're driving it. So they completely deleted it. I called I called Brower in Canada, had to talk to a couple people. And I guess this was an old model. The newer models don't have them. So I just deleted it and they, I mean, I guess they, they work fine without it. So we're, we're going to find out right now. Cut this out um, and connect it. All right, so we basically just wired in a quick connect. And we did this so that they can, um, they can swap it from tractor to tractor. So I'm just wrapping the crap out of this. This is the second time this harness has got damaged. It's a weak point because there's two little transistors that run into two of these wires. They're not repairable. So if the wire gets broken or the transistor gets ripped, you have to buy the whole harness. And these things are not cheap. We're talking about two grand for the harness. Yeah. All right, we're good. Uh, now I'm gonna weld this hole up. Right, so now we're gonna address this, which just happens basically because they use sand. So I'm just gonna grind this out and put a patch, basically a patch that runs across like this. I'll have to bend it a little bit. I got 3 16 plate this time. Um, and I'm just going to put it right on top of this. It's been patched. I've had to patch it a few times. This is a patch from probably two years ago. From mechanic to welder. All right, let's handle this shit because I'm going to look at my service grain today. Uh, I got to go check it out, take some measurements on it because I got to make the mounts for my truck. So I'm a little excited. So let's get this shit done. good right there so now I got to grind all this out and then just patch this on top that's just gonna sit right on top of there and I'm gonna bust the world all the way around the sink so there's no there's nowhere really to uh, connect the ground. So I'm gonna take this piece of angle iron. I'm gonna weld it to that bottom piece so I have a place to hook my ground. Weld it. I'm just gonna weld it on one side. So when I need to, I can hit it with a hammer and it'll knock it'll it'll bust itself off.
So I ran a, uh, I ran a 6013 root and then I went run 7018 on top of it just cause of 7018. I like how it lays better. Um, but you gotta run it uphill. So I just ran the route downhill and then I ran the, the rest uphill. What's up, gringo? You working hard? Oh uh, yeah, always, right? Always working. So this seal's leaking pretty bad. So we're gonna take this off real quick and just see if I can wrap that or put some RTV or something on it. Just keep it from leaking so bad so they can use it. So there's a little seal in there. I don't know if you can see, but right there at the bottom, there's a, you can see where it's starting to leak already. That's where the, the hole is. All right, so I've done something like this before, um, and it doesn't completely stop the leak, but it'll keep it from pouring out. And basically I go with RTV, and then I wrap it with the silicone tape, and then I wrap it with the, with uh, electrical tape. All it does is it, it stops it from leaking as bad. So I found this stuff, which is like it seals on itself. It seems to work pretty good. All right, we're done with this crap. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, here's some crane. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm.